Okay, this works. Welcome back! We are gonna play uh, Ancient Go, which was just released on Steam. I've been playing an early access release for quite a while. Um, it looks more beautiful than ever each time that they do a new release, so I think they've mastered how to make Go beautiful. Maybe not functional, but it's beautiful. Alright. Let's play a quick 9x9. Nine nine. And hopefully it does remember my um, OGS username and password, so hopefully we get an opponent, etc, etc. Um, the one thing about this beautiful view... Oh, I can zoom in and out. That's good. It still works. But yeah, one thing about this is there's no ability to chat and interact with the opponent that way. Um, such a chat feature, not vital to this game, although for post-game analysis it could be useful. But your target audience is going to be quite diverse anyway, and if they were interested in chatting they would possibly do it over Skype or over Discord or some other service. Um, it seems that I might not get an opponent for a quick 9x9. Nine nine. So let's see if we can find an opponent. Um, I don't know, let's jump right into 19x19. 19 19. I might just get wrecked here, because I've not played 19x19 19 19 in quite some time. I am curious, and it'd be nice if the music were continuing to play in the background here until the game had started. Here we go. Here we go. Good luck. Have fun. 4-4. Four, 4-4-4-4. Four. Four, 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 four. Okay. So, let's play a cross game, because we can. Um, and then go protect this corner. And protect that corner. Alright, and we'll take um, this entire edge. Do I dive right in? I don't think it's time for me to dive right in. Let's take another edge. Okay, so all the corners have been claimed. Uh, let's do some two-space extension sorts of things. Um, what's the largest? This is the largest side. So let's take this. Okay. Um... I am curious about this whole thing. Uh, I want to invade, but he keeps giving me tons of territory, so... Um, there's no reason for me to invade. I guess I claim the center. Build up some thickness there. One, two, three jump is the normal recipe, but um, I guess we'll put another stone there. Um, yeah, we'll just build a freaking wall. Why not? What's wrong with the wall? I mean, there's defects here for sure, but in concept, the wall seems like a decent an idea. Um, if I take the 
I'm getting the center of the board, which is lovely. Um, you could Atari me, but I don't know that I'm worried. Or do I just cut here? This seems like a decent cutting point. Again, he could Atari, but... Um, I don't know, I like this inside. All this influence and building up toward the middle looks strong. Oh, he's... Okay, it's good that it points out the Atari to me here, because I didn't see that. Um... Okay, you can keep Atariing me if I keep this sort of thing up. Okay, we cut. Which is pretty bold. Um, then we'll have to connect underneath. Um, do I connect under here? No. I'm just going to build up influence and I guess he's getting some stones if I can't find a way to live. Okay, um, let's try to run toward the corner and build some eyes. Okay, I've got three liberties. He's got one, two, well, more than two. Um, Hmm. Okay, we're going to keep running, I guess. Possibly die badly. Okay, so I get two more liberties this way. Um... Now, can I hit this stone? How many eyes do I have? Probably not enough. We got one, two, three, four liberties. I got one, two, three... Am I winning this race? That's what I want to know. One, two... I think I'm winning it. Um, I better be sure, though, right? And I should have known before I went into all this, but... Um, it looks like I'm winning a capture race. Oh, no, he just connects. Um, so if he can make two eyes, he's okay. This adds a liberty, he can take away a liberty. Um, I think I'm doing okay here. You could just play there, but... Um, Okay. Yes, yeah, so and I'm down to four. Well, I'm still at four liberties. Um, 
One, two, three, four. What am I missing? Okay, so I'm going to trap his little group here. He's down to three. He's down to actually one here. Never mind. There we go. Okay, so he's lived in the corner, but um, that had some casualties for sure. So now let's cut that. And how much more can I kill? If I go here and he Ataris, and I go there, he kills me, and then I kill this stuff, right? Let's try this. Yeah, you exchange seven stone for two points, and I have a ton of influence, too. Um... He did score two points, though. Um, so he did something right. Oh, this is interesting. So if he got this point, I'm sorry, if he gets, yeah, if he places a stone here, he can make two eyes. Um, so it's too bad for him that I place here first, isn't it? But, uh, he might still be okay. Maybe I should have placed here first and just allow- oh! Wow, we're both beginners. Um, so, yeah. I'm just gonna go this way and then try to kill this stuff. Um, How does this go? Why so into killing? Oh, he started it. That's a bad excuse. I just got carried away um, after having killed seven stones. You know, I figured, why stop at seven? Um, but no, this this is not working. Uh, part of it is I was just curious, does this even work? And I don't think the answer is yes. I'm pretty sure the answer is no, this does not work at all. Um, if I go here, I hit that. I'm just, yeah, this is like self Atari. Let's go on the outside and just build some influence and forget that we sacked three stones and stuff. Um, yeah, no, he's already got enough eyes. He's survived. Um, so we'll just build into the corner. Uh, can I do this? Uh, how about this? This looks saner. Um, I'm going to cap this. I want both the inside and the outside, um, which might have a price.
Okay, he's going to cap me there. Or there. Whatever. So I have defects in this structure. Um, pretty obvious defects. Okay. Just run like this. Uh, one, two, three, and then jump. Of course he does that. Um, so he's done his one, two, three jump before I could jump. I'm still going to jump. Um, So hopefully I've done okay here. Um, in negotiating what it is that I want or need. Yeah, it's an enormous, like, I'm just astounded how large the center is. So, um, he's got some stones here. I don't know, I'm not sure what to negotiate for next. Um, probably just assert that this is mine. This is really weird, because he has no eye space. Um, That's quite a sacrifice. There might be a better way for me to play this, but I'm winning lots of stones this way, so we'll go with this way. Um, made an empty triangle. Oh well. Um,
Okay. This is strange again. Okay, he did double Atari me. Um, I think I'm still fine though. He's like dying all over the place unless I really screw up, which I might. I could still mess this up. Um, I don't understand what he's doing. Okay, so he's got two liberties. I just have to make sure I'm not an Atari here, but... Um, Yeah. He's just finding ways to give up more and more stones. But I guess it doesn't matter because the center is already mine. Um, okay, he has an Atari threat there. Uh, so... Oh wait, no, did he just capture here? No, he didn't. Alright, so we're going to leave that Atari threat. Um, do I have to cut here? Yeah, let's cut there. I don't have to, but it's still a good move. Okay, if he goes after my guys, that's that, but, um... I'm not sure why that 2-2 two -two stone thinks it's living. Well, no, he's investing um, a lot there. Uh, but I'm not sure that that's alive. Okay, Black Wins by Resignation. Um, I wonder just how far ahead I was. Probably not as large an advantage as I think it is. Um, well, so this is a good opportunity to identify dead groups, right? Um, so, let me try to figure this out. I think this stone is dead, because he's got two eyes over here. This is alive in the corner. These stones are dead. This whole corner is basically his, although I could invade at some point and try to reduce it. Um, this lower right corner is in dispute. Um, at some point I could place down here. Um, 
This little stone here is dead. Um, all Basically all this stuff that I've surrounded is just dead. This thing I surrounded is dead. Um, and I'm confused about this upper right corner, what happened. I uh, killed enormous groups. Okay, so... But I had, it cost me, like, a stone for a stone each time. Like, I'm playing in my own territory to kill these groups, so I'm not sure that that's a big advantage. He does have a large upper left corner. Um, but I have an enormous center, so I think area-wise it's equal. Or kind of close, maybe. But the fact that I'm killing these enormous groups... Um, is what makes the big difference. Right, but no, each point in my center that we covered up is minus a point. So every black stone and every white stone, it's minus one space versus the center I originally had. So yeah, each time I kill one, I get plus two back, but um, we're still reducing the size of the center. Um, I think area control-wise, we both control the same area. It's just, I killed all the prisoners, so um, that's the difference. Uh, but if we were to exclude all the killed stones, I think it would be an even game. I could be wrong. I'm a double-digit Q. I don't know Go. I'm learning it. We're getting there, but I'm still curious like if I could have done something better in this upper right corner. Like when he plays like this. I think the way I reacted was not best. Um I think I have better ways to react to this. Or maybe even a couple moves ago. Like, there. When he plays that, what do I do? I don't just let him take the corner. I don't kill the dead stones because they're dead. There's no need for me to kill them. Do I, like, play down here and try to invade the lower right corner? I don't know. Where do I play when he plays this? Let me also take a look and see how my screen capture... My oh, screen capture does catch the bottom row. That's good. Yes, but there's nothing for me to kill right now. Um, like, I could place a stone, I could place a stone, I could just keep killing his things, but they're already dead. Um, so what do I do now? What's a reasonable play for black? Maybe the answer is that it just doesn't matter. Um, but if Comey were large enough or something that I actually had to find a good plan here, what would I do? Would I like play on my Atari point here? Try to run away? Um... Yeah, he's going to slowly move into the corner, though. If I don't, if I just completely ignore this, he's going to slowly advance this way. Do I play like here? And if he connects there, do I make an empty triangle or something? Like, what am I supposed to do? Inevitably, I'm forced to kill these two. Uh, maybe I erred earlier. Maybe placing this cutting stone was not a great idea. Maybe I should just, like, say, you know what? No corner for you. And if he persists, uh, I say no corner for you, and there's nothing. I, that might have been a better way to deal with this, assuming he doesn't escape somehow. 
Like I've got this. You could Atari me, but I take there. Um, this was probably a smarter way to deal with that. Yeah, this is Ancient Go on OGS. Um, yeah, and I just killed him over and over because he kept walking himself into dead situations. Like, he, he lacked reading. Yeah, so I think I probably should have just continued like this here. Um, saying this is my corner. And you can try to extend, and I don't know, maybe now I cut. Or maybe I just go there. And he attempts to surround me. I still have two liberties, so at this point I start um, killing stuff. And we go this way. This is probably a better way to save my corner. Anyway, uh, that was a, I don't know if cromulent is an appropriate word for this, but we'll say, yeah, it's a cromulent game. Oh, there's a go directory? I did not know that. Um, I mean, you could try that. Uh, let's give it a shot. I didn't think um, Twitch recognized this, but we'll give it a shot. Let's play another game online. Let's see if we can find an opponent. Again, this is OGS, the online Go server. Um, that fan in the background is my AC kicking in because it is warm today. So, if it sounds like there's um, background noise, that's because there is. All right, Captain Arpane Pirata or something. Okay, we'll play the right side of the board. Oh, Apache P Pirata, interesting. Yeah, I didn't find the Go directory listed under the set of games. Um, but you guys are probably right. Beats me why they'd have Go board game, as well as just Go. Um, but they don't have like chess board game, checkers board game, backgammon board game and such. Um, so Go is probably a more appropriate name. Not sure why my opponent is thinking here. Perhaps one of us is disconnected. Either that, or we're just trying to solve the game, you know? There we go. The long anticipated play. All right. Let's attack this corner. I must imagine that my opponent is either distracted or unable to play faster. Though I can't imagine why. Unless he's actually, like, trying to steer a ship at the same time as playing a Go game. He's, like, in the middle of some ocean or some waters and getting the moves um, sent to him not in real time. That could potentially explain slowness. Um, is this a thing, actually? I forget if going up 
against the sort of pincer as a standard thing, or if I'm supposed to play, like, somewhere on the other side. Why jump out? Uh, because I'm a double-digit Q, and I don't know what to do against a pincer. Um, I know it's a pincer, I just can't remember, like, what in the world you do against it. So, we're jumping. Take the corner. Oh, like the 3-3 three, three point. Oh. Okay, that sounds familiar. Yeah, we're playing on OGS. Uh, okay. Let's take the corner. What's the worst that could happen? Um. Okay. Uh, something is happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. There's a man with a stone over there. Tell me I gotta beware. Oh no, no. This is all good. I'm a double digit Q. It doesn't matter. I can get away with this stuff, right? Here, let's box in the... No. I don't know. I've... This is... fun. Okay, we'll connect the stones. This is insanity. Oh yeah, yeah. Welcome to the madness. Um, I don't know what to do against this hit, so I figure, you know, jumping into the corner looks fine, right? How bad could it be? Um, what? What is this? What? It, how? It, why would you play there? Like, I've been playing crazy moves, but this just takes it to a whole new level. We're just going to attack everything. Ah, <sighs> jeez. What a tense position. Um, yeah, I don't even know where to start evaluating this. Okay, we'll play there, I guess. And he's gonna play here, maybe? I don't understand. Well, this game has four corners. We seem to have located one of the four corners. Maybe things should be done in other corners, so, like, if ladders go on. Um, okay, there we go. It's trying to divide me, trying to cut me. So, we're just going to keep, keep it on. I should play something semi-locally, maybe? I don't know. I'm fine. Ish. Okay, we'll try to live down here. Okay, that's Atari. This interface very helpfully points out the Atari, because I'd probably miss it. Um... Okay, so he's going to play another... No, he's going to surround me. I have to jump again. Do I honey at the head of five stones? Is there a thing about that kind of... If we ladder... Yeah, we're not even going to ladder. There's no need to, but um, this seems like a good way for me to build.
A lot of first line stones. It's a lot of first line stones. Um, do I capture or do I let him extend? If I let him extend, I'm here. He extends, I trap. The Ataris, and with that's that's killing himself. Um, you know, if I just let him extend up here, whatever. We're gonna play this. That's Atari. He sees the Atari. And now I jump this way. Um, and if he tries to extend and kill me, I'm fine. It's nothing to worry about. That's plenty of him pushing through there, but I just cap this and I escape. This is double digit Q stuff all over the place. Um, do I have ice space here? Can he break a ladder? I don't know. Um, I'm afraid that these five or six would die if I don't play this. Um, my fear might be unwarranted. Okay, so what do I do against a 3-3 invasion? Um, something. Probably, if I remember right, I just say, you know, that's fine. 3-3 three, three is yours. And I just take space this way. Block directly.
Oh, just block one of the sides. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Seems to be working in this corner. Wait, one eye... Oh, he gets two eyes no matter where, which way we go. Wait, no, is this a false eye? No. No false eyes here. Oh well. Um, so fine. If he can invade, I can invade. I suppose I'm more interested in the outs or the inside of the board here. Alright, so I've got this side of the board. Um, so now what? Uh, secure the top. Yeah, we'll get there, I guess. Um,
What's this? Why does he keep playing one solidly connected group here? Um, I mean, this is just super slow here, as far as I see. Um, Sorry. Oh, okay, so he does apparently kill this stone. Something like this, I guess. That's weird. Okay. Um, that does threaten a lot of things. I guess this protects against, like, in playing here. This isn't even so scary, though. Alright, so what do I do here? Down and... Yeah, I'm not sure. I feel like I should take the center somehow here, but... Um, he's gonna cut if I don't pay attention. But maybe I'm okay, because, like, he's very low on liberties. My liberty count's not that great either. Well, that's Atari, so I have to extend and counter Atari. So I connect underneath. Atari. It's also Atari. Um, this is unusual for sure, but I think I'm fine.
so now where do we go? I still think that I'm winning this. Um, and I keep chasing this snake thing around, but uh, I think I do profit from this. A ladder would have been far easier, you are absolutely correct. If there were a ladder, that would have been the easy way. But how exciting would a ladder be? Instead, we get this crazy dragon, snake, ladder, whatever. I don't even know. It's a thing. Um, so... Yeah, attacks my two weak groups. He wants to go here. Okay, so... He's found Ani. Um... Fuck. <laughs> he found an eye. All right. Um, well, well, well. So now what? I guess we'll make the best we can with what we got. Um. Oh, I did not see that. That's my bad. Alright, well, so this is a pretty epic failure. The most epic possible failure. Um, it's still entertaining for sure, but um, yeah, now I have to do damage control and lose as little territory as possible. Um, possibly even concede the game, because, like, I don't think I'm living in the lower right either. What's the threat here? That's weird. Unless the point is just to reduce me. Atari?
Okay, that's an Atari threat. Oh, I... okay. That forces me to lose a stone. I'm just playing out of inertia at this point, because I'm just not pleased with the outcome. Um, I should play better, but... This also lets me just play the game. So, yeah, I don't think I'm winning this. Do not at all think I'm winning this. Where do you play? Oh, in the center. Okay. So, I'm not sure if this leads somewhere positive. I'm curious though, so I play it. Oh, I need another stone to even try to pursue that further. Um, passing might be my best move here, unless I can find some way to gain something. So yeah, white wins pretty handily. White wins by ten and a half. And you guys were saying earlier I should have just used a ladder. I looked, I looked, I looked, I looked, I looked. I did not see a ladder. Um, there was a ladder somewhere, but I did not see it. Um... So, what is it? I could kill the top. Oh. I did not think that could kill the top. You could capture the rights. We're talking about the end position? Really? I don't think I could kill anything in the final position. Not at the end. Okay. So probably somewhere, I don't know, somewhere around here maybe. Um, I could stop focusing on these like onesie twosie things up there. 
and kill this top group here. Like this. And I just figured out oh, this is only two stones. What's the point? Um, but obviously I misplayed like like any double digit Q would play a game. Um, I left lots of cut points because I thought I was gonna kill him. Was I like completely mistaken in this um, reading that like does white just live here? Is it that simple that you know I just leave too many cut points? And white just lives. Oh, when he captured my three, I could have captured the top. Okay. Yeah, I was... That wouldn't have been enough to save me, but that would help. But, like, the fact that I'm leaving behind all these cut points shouldn't matter if I kill this thing. I just sucked at killing it. Okay, so I should just be less aggressive and just let my opponent roll me over. I'll do that next time. Um, or at least not be as aggressive. I'm just flustered. Because obviously I thought I had something and I clearly didn't. Um, Yeah, no killing required. Right. Yeah. I guess as a beginner, I shouldn't expect myself to do anything interesting. and I should just play strong moves and not worry about things like life and death. All that interesting stuff happens once you're good at the game. Oh, I've got white. Are we going to play a cross game? Mm, doesn't look like it. Um, Okay, I just need to be prepared to answer um, for weaknesses in my shape. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. I mean, maybe I could, but I don't know. This is strange, is it not? Let's fix our defect.
Yes, it does show the Atari right here. Um, and I am just ignoring this Atari. So I don't know what to do because he's taken the entire right half of the board. Um, which is a bit unsettling. Oh, shit. Well, I guess that's okay. Um... I realize I probably had a better way to attack that. Can't await the throw in. Yeah, I, I think this is bad. Oh, there it is. There's me getting shot in the face. <sighs> well, well, well. I tried. Absolutely nothing is going right for me this game. Absolutely nothing. Okay, I guess this is how we know he's not a... No. Is this a bot? Because, like... Either that or he's good. Um, so if I do this, he goes there, that's Atari, I'm s still not escaping. Now he's gonna kill it. He's good either way, but... Um, okay... 
I chose play online. I did not expect to play a bot. I don't think... I would be surprised if my opponent were a bot. Just in general. That Atari hint saved my bacon. Um, oh, wow. Uh, he actually gets out. Well, no, if I play this, he takes a stone. I'm still surrounding, I think. No, this is Atari, too. This is complicated. <clears throat> so if I play here, though, my two stones get surrounded. So I think I have to play this so I don't lose the two. But no, he still plays there. Jeez. Go is hard. It's a human player, as it should be. So if I go down here, and then go up, and then he plays there, and I go here, throw in, he kills me again. Uh, I still am no closer to surrounding or killing things. Um, Okay, so we're going to save the weak group and screw these two. Uh, at least this way I get something out of it. This creates two triangles. Who knew that I could make such moves? Um, okay, so I'll cap this. Oh, am I losing this group too? I get the sense I might be losing another group. There's another throw in. And I'm surrounded again. Um, I concede. This guy's just too good. And I'm probably just flustered after having lost a previous game. Um, yeah, no. That's a game. Um, Something happened there. So, yeah, we're, I got really flustered with what was going on here. Was back... Um, where was it? Here. This is the point where I'm like, oh crap, I don't enjoy what's going on anymore. Um, it was at this point I just wanted to like resign the game right off the bat, even if I might not lose it. I'm just like, I don't know what I'm even going to learn from playing this. It's a very open board, but I have no idea like even how to start to begin to start to plan to whatever.
I'm completely clueless as to what's going on here. So we're saying I could like do a 3-3 invasion? Is that it? Uh, are we saying that I could do like this and then a 3-3 invasion? Like, I have no idea how to play this. <laughs> um. Yeah, like, anything I can do is probably okay. I should know it, but how do I know it? How do I know it? <laughs> I look it up. How do I look it up? There's a website that has all the Joseki and Fuseki and I don't know, just tells you like if this is the position, play this move. I uh, just have to know them all. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, just lear learn the 3-3 three, three invasion in general. Just as a fun thing to know. Not for any particular position, but just learning 3-3 three, three could be a fun thing to do. Yeah, I guess I'll check that out sometime. Still want to play some games, though. Learning 3-3 three, three could be... could, like, prepare me for stuff like this. Yeah, 3-3 three, three is a pretty standard maneuver. I haven't had to do it in any of my games thus far. That's because I'm like a low double digit Q, so... Um, but yeah, that's one of the things I should add. Um, I don't understand why I got white that last game. Um, I am confused why I got white. Because, like, my opponent uh, was clearly better, and so I, it's my understanding that, um, that what you're supposed to do is give the stronger player the white stones, in general. But he just cleaned my clock very badly last game, so I get the sense that the giving the stronger player the white stones did not happen last game. Um, okay. Interesting. I'm getting the sense that it's not happening this game either. I have no base. There's a base. There's something that vaguely resembles a base. I think I just let the stone go. 
Um, it's just one stone. Yeah, no, I have the AC on. It's as quiet as it can go, but um, it's still making a ton of noise. So that's what the background noise is, is it's an AC. Um, I think I should try to connect through this. No, that's not going to work. Okay, so I just reduced my liberty count by one, because I don't understand Go. Um, hey, I've lost a group there. That's too bad. That's a big group too. I mean, there are bigger groups, but that's pretty big. Oh, this is the Ancient Go client available on Steam. So he controls all four, well, three of the four corners of the board. He controls the center. He's killing all my stones. I'm not sure why I have the white stones. I don't get it.
Oh God! You know, I I'm not calculating. I'm not reading. I'm not. I need to make a better effort if I'm gonna try to play this game. Um. Yeah, losing all my stones to simple like five move tactics is ridiculous. So we're gonna try. I don't know. I'm confused how I have a 17Q rating, given that I keep missing all that stuff. I mean, okay, for sure, the last few games I've not been leaving cuts in my structure. I'm just putting all my stones immediately next to each other. There are no weaknesses. The weakness is that my entire position sucks, but that's not the right way to do it. That's not the right way to approach the game either. <laughs> You have to have some balance between having a solid structure versus a functional one. Well, the other thing is, like, yeah, I'm moving way too fast. Um, yep. Well, I guess I play faster when I just have absolutely no idea. Like, I could sit there for an entire ten minutes and still have no idea how to approach the thing. So that's why I'm just putting stones on the board and seeing what happens. Um, if I had a clue, uh, I would spend time trying to figure it out. Yeah, is it a ladder? Is it a net? And yeah, I keep seeing all these like ladder and net and stuff ideas, but missing much more obvious um, Ataris. So yeah, so I'm not sure what to do about that. <laughs> if my opponent can Atari me, and I have no idea that the Atari is even coming. I could at least anticipate the Atari, but strategically, um, like all the strategy in the wor world won't save you if you keep blundering uh, to Atari threats. Um, all right, so we'll take um, take this corner. Um, and this 4-4. Four, four. Looks like 3-3's three, not on the menu today. This looks like a big corner. Um, a pro opening. Uh, we'll see. Like, how do I do 3-3 against this? <laughs> uh, okay, that's strange. I'm playing 3-3 just to make it interesting, I guess. Okay, yeah, I have no idea what's going on there. Um, or even if I have to respond immediately. I don't know. How urgent is everything when everything is urgent? It's the surrounding game. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that actually makes some sense. Um, Alright, we'll play 3-3. Three, three. You surrounded me, but I'm taking the corner, so that's a thing. Maybe.
It's a pretty sad corner. Um. Ha! Two can play this surrounding game. You surround me, I surround you. How does that feel? No. <laughs> um, yeah, connect your stones. Sure. Yeah, so I'm connecting my upper right group to my lower right group. Somehow. Like, how urgent is everything, I wonder? I have, don't know. Do I die if I... Yeah, well, let's play this. We're not going to try to kill that and die to while trying to kill it. Um, Yeah, don't worry, the stick is gonna come save these two stones. Except if he plays that. Then we're just gonna resign. No. Um, I don't know if a three space gap is appropriate here. Two space might be safer. But this also allows me to like, have some urgency on the top side of the board. Okay, that's weird. That is really weird. So we fix the defect. Okay. I looked at this like six times, and each of these times completely missed that he has that. Um, How can I play Go when I can't read? Is there a way to play Go that doesn't involve reading? At all? Um. I mean, he's invested five moves to get this, so I might be okay, but... Um. This is weird. Alright, so if I could take the center in this lower left corner, that'd be great. I don't know if that's going to happen.
Yeah, that's quite the central influence. I've got all the influence. I should not have hit that. This just completely ruins my game. Completely ruined. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure how to go back to this whole influence strategy. Having given him, like, three in free influence in the center. Um, I mean, maybe I had no choice, but... Um, All right, what do we do here? What do we do? I think we hit this first. And then figure out how, what to do about the rest of this. Um, sorry, if I'm just too impatient for this game right now, I should play something else. There's an Atari right there. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm just not playing Patient Go. <sighs> Granted, each of these games I'm getting flustered for other reasons too, but, um, like every game here, there's no weakness in my stones. They're just too slow and they get surrounded and killed. And I'm giving away free influence for no reason. Um, so, I guess we make the best of the situation. I'm not understanding how I ever made it to 17Q on this site. Other than perhaps sheer luck. Okay, so let's connect up here. Cut through there. Start undermining some of this. Reducing it. We've only got three groups hanging right now. We're surrounded. Um, he's got to take here. Unless he's got something just way better, but um, taking there would solve his problems.
I'm not even trying to rescue this group. I'm just trying to reduce this thing in the side. So that's a cut. That's Atari. So I got something back, but it's not what we hoped and dreamed for. Now we shouldn't be fighting over that though, because like, the entire board is up for grabs, but I did reduce this, so at least like my quarter might not die. Um, I might. Who knows. So now we'll build this outward. Maybe connect our upper left and upper right corners. Each time he does one of these Hane things that's completely unsupported, um, I get influence. So that's how I get influence, but I tend to give it up very quickly. Okay, so I guess I'm leaving behind tons of cutting points I should be more cautious about. Um, should play like this to defend my cut. Am I able to kill this? Service says probably not. Um, but, you know, there's a chance. Where's the first and second eye? Like, eye number one is somewhere around here. Eye number two, I'm not so sure. Oh, he gets two eyes if he plays there. That's where it's at. Um.
Fuck. Oh well. <laughs> we tried. Tried so hard and got so far. Wait, no. I do have a liberty way out here. I've got actually tons of ways to gain liberties. For a second I thought this was self-Atari, but uh, it's not. Uh, it's close to Atari, but that's not the same thing. To be careful about this push, or just take here right away. Um, not have to worry about that. Maybe you should have pushed earlier. Um... Do I have two eyes here somewhere? Maybe not. I think uh, I think my eye is this big black thing here. Um, I think I just have to capture it. One, two, three liberties versus... I've got like a bajillion liberties. One, two, three, four, something. Um, that timer ticking at me does distract me, I will admit. Um... Certainly much more than it should. So, I lucked out very heavily. Um, I'm killing a larger group than he's killing. So, there's that. This, when I'm playing chess and other games, um, this sort of pattern tends to emerge as well. That, um, okay, wait, how do I deal with this? I'm just going to fix that. And not have to calculate it every single time he places a stone somewhere nearby. Um, or not have to read that. But yeah, when I'm playing chess in other games, um, often my opponent gets a large advantage and squanders it. And I believe that happened in this game, too. Um, it's common in double-digit queue games for players to really mess up. Um, uh, so... Is this the point where I start doing something here. I don't want this to connect. Ah, Windows says I'm low on storage space. That's useful to know. definitely looks like an et. Maybe he can get some influence from having lost some stones here. Um, that doesn't make sense to me. Unless, like, somehow the stick escapes. This reminds me of my earlier games, um, where I would play some pretty desperate moves. Uh, 
Yes. Yeah, I was gonna say black is tilting. Um. So, we're going to see just how often black tilts, and if black finds a constructive plan here. Um. I think all the tense positions are resolved, so I'm just going to take some space. It's been sitting there forever. Somebody has to play that point eventually. Maybe you're out of disk space, if I had to guess. How many times am I going to get surrounded like this? I'm not very good at counting uh, where my eyes are at. I need to know like how much eye space I need. Um, this group might just barely live. Oh wait, no, I'm actually fine because the, yeah, like you're saying, this black group here is dead. So I'm misreading that. Um, I need to play carefully. So the point is, I, if he Ataris me, I connect, and as long as I have a liberty, I'm okay. Um, let's cut that. Oh, that's Atari. I've been atari again. Fine, you get my stone, I get something. So, Black's put a lot of stones here to, cur to surround one space. Um, I'm guessing that wasn't his objective. Probably had something more ambitious in mind. Let's connect.
Yeah, it really does not look like Black is living at all up here. Um, is this too close? Probably. So I just need to make sure not to miscount this at a crucial moment. Um. Black is very much not alive up there. Um, white is very much alive up there, so... Um, oh. I'd better connect my stones before something bad happens, and yeah, there we go. Um, oh no, he's got a second eye now. God damn it. I needed to stop this eye number two. I'm still winning this, but stopping the eye would have been really useful. As it is, white's just very much alive. Um, <laughs> there we go. It's forced to connect. Okay, so yep, white's doing great. As long as I don't time out, I'm doing good. Timing out is the only way something. Well, and if I just like let this large white group get surrounded because I play stupidly, um, that'd be another way this could go poorly. But. Um, Black is not surrounding any territory, so we're just having fun little fist fight here. You should probably extend, and I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm in danger, suddenly, because I did play stupidly. Um, if I capture the black group, I'll be fine. Whichever black group that is. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. This one. 
This is the one we got to capture. So I survive to fight another fight. So originally I had all of his stones killed. He's managed for a large group of them to survive. Um, that's okay though, because we're still like way ahead. So. That's Atari, so I have to take. I want to cut here, but I don't think I get to. Oh, actually the cut there is no good. Oh well. We tried. We tried. Well, let's do this. Um, this might still be a net. Worst case, we might save this one little stone here, but, um... No, it looks like we're making a net. Maybe. confident here, but also just inquisitive. It's not even a ladder because I'm not forced to push each time, but um, it has all the weaknesses of a ladder, so. Next I just want to come out here and net all this. Um, So yeah, this is a very large win for white. It just keeps getting larger and larger because he keeps throwing more stones at it. So, unless he somehow breaks through, um, everything's just dying.
Oh, there's one eye up here. Um... I'm not seeing what's going on here. There's another eye here. So the groups are connected. He actually lives. But I get all the influence, so this is still fine. It's not what I hoped for, but, you know, it's a thing. I didn't have to resolve that, and resolving that was actually not useful, um, I don't think. I mean, it gained me a liberty, but what's the point? I'm cuttable all over the place here. Much is going on. I don't understand why he pushes. because I don't think this group has a life. Maybe he can use it to build influence elsewhere, but I don't think this group's alive. Okay, White wins by resignation. It's quite an adventure. Um, yeah, no, that was 
I don't know. It, it went a lot of places. Um, at what point did this really get out of hand? Uh, where was this? That things just escalated out of nowhere. So I killed that. I push here. I'm not... I don't know that I like that move. Um, taking away one of Black's liberties there. And so... Um, yeah, now where did this go wrong for Black? This might have been greedy. Um, there's so many bigger plays Black could have been making on the board um, than trying to kill a couple stones. Well, no, he's trying to kill my large snake thing. It just doesn't work. Um, so, yeah, somewhere around here, we had a very different reading of what was going on. Um, I probably had an easier way to win this than what actually happened in the game, because I'm a beginner. Um, there was probably a simpler way to resolve this whole stuff. But, um, what I did was good enough. It worked. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how we got here. Black played a first line move. I don't understand what it is about people who are, in general, good at this game, but, like, they have not sworn off playing first line moves. So it's somewhere around this in the next 10 to 20 moves that things went south. I can't see exactly when, but um, by the time we hit like this, uh, this is good for white locally. And I think white's doing okay overall. Um, but yeah, this looks very heavily in White's favor, I think. Um, I'm going to hit the washroom and be right back. So what happened while I was away? Um, Black can capture the two white stones right now. Uh, we might be looking at a different position. I might have to play using the OGS client at some point, because as beautiful as this is, um, it's difficult for people to commentate on the game in progress. Um, I still like how this is a beautiful board. But yeah. I think this went very well for White. Oh, yeah, I almost panicked on this Atari. And then I realized, wait, I've got a Liberty way out here that he has not filled yet. So I was just barely efficient enough. Um, it all worked out. Um, oh, so from the position we went AFK on, uh, which was here, 
Black can capture the two white stones. Oh. Okay. Um, that's interesting. So we're talking about these two. So like black pushes. White Ataris. Yeah. Okay, so this is where things went south for black. Yeah, OGS does have a similar Zen mode, but it doesn't have all this beautiful artwork. So, <laughs> this is entire combination. Everything here was based on ridiculous calculation errors. That's amazing. <laughs> this game would not have been possible uh, if better players had been playing it. Um, okay, so what this all means is that I need to get better at reading these life and death sort of things here. So that move allows Black to try to escape, and I did not answer it. I just played out here. I'm like, yeah, I'll just play a thing. No, I have to answer the threat somehow. That's what's going on here. Okay, well, that kind of changes like the entire game, doesn't it? Um. Yeah, and I've actually seen that sort of thing before, but um, usually in the context of a Sumego where it's black to play and live. And um, he just plays the stone right there and has, isn't like in this Atari immediately. So I'm curious. I mean, this is single digit Q stuff, but like, what does white do against that? Do I just take three black stones? Or do I have some better counter? Um, like, I don't know, do I play up here first next to the stone? All right, so capturing's fine. And it's not clear if anything's better than just taking. I kind of like pushing up, but then black just surrounds my stones, and so I have to capture. That might be a more accurate way to go. Um, yeah, you're right. I should not worry about such stuff. Uh, capturing helps to simplify because black throws in to make an eye. Uh, white is sente. Oh, so yeah, the sente is useful too. Uh, so, yeah, my nickname on OGS, yeah, this is it. Um, it occurs to me that might not be in the screen capture. No, it's not. It's barely occluded um, by the chat bar at the bottom. If black were weaker, there'd be some merit to pushing. Um, but since Black's almost alive, we're going to be forced to do this sooner or later. Might as well do it now, and then we retain Sente if we need it. Because our group is weaker than the Black stuff, Black stones that remain. So, that makes sense. Here, let's play a game online. Another 19 by 19. Uh, it still says I'm 17Q. I'm not sure if that's accurate. Wait, have we got an opponent? Okay, the board changes its zoom as soon as we find somebody. But... Okay, there we go. Oh, no cross game today. 
No cross game today. Alright, so let's take this corner. Uh, and this corner. Alright. Ha! <laughs> Here we got a 3-3 invasion on the loose. We might get that cross game after all. Um... Okay... I think I go this way. Connect my weak groups. This is strange, is it not? <sighs> so... Okay. Might as well save my group. Um, there's a wall if there ever was one. built a wall there. Um, here's a stone. Just trying to reduce all this stuff down here. Um, and the melee begins. Okay, I should just stick a stone somewhere around here and say this is my side. Well, we've got a game on our hands. Um, White's playing tons of urgent moves, and I'm not I'm not entirely convinced the position's as urgent as White thinks it is. Okay. Um sure we'll do this in more than one corner if we must.
Okay, I think I'm okay here. I think we got enough space. I just have to be careful not to lose the influence more. So I'm threatening to Atari in two different places. <laughs> the second line move was just as good as the first line move. There was no reason to go down there. Well, I don't know. Maybe there is some subtle reason, but I don't believe it. me agitated. So agitated by that. But at least it's only one stone. It's better to give up the four stones and save the one. Better in what sense? <laughs> uh, that's a hard argument to make, you know. Yeah, I guess these can be a liability. I would never have guessed that saving the one would be so important here. Oh, I didn't need to play that, because I can just connect through the two stones here. Yeah, white's going to profit from them over and over, because they're poorly placed. They're too close to white, I guess. Um, Oh, this is what you mean. I see. Yeah, he repeatedly profits from this. Okay, we're gonna escape. We're gonna run with this group of four. Just to put so much effort into getting it to stay alive to begin with. It would have been better to avoid the strategy, but now that we've embarked upon it, we're going to stick with the strategy. As bad a strategy as it was to start with. Well, some people call that reading. Um,
He's leaving tons and tons of cutting points. Um, So, well, I have no territory compared to what he's got. Yeah, he did not play that as well as he could have, but, um, but he's still doing okay. Yeah, no, I, I don't save every stone in Atari. If you saw the last game, I had like three or four stones all in Atari at the same time. I didn't save them. Eventually, I do need to turn it off because it's um, going to inhibit me from improving on my own. But if I'm just doing casual play, I'm still going to use it. Well, casual in the sense that I'm, I have a lot of a long, long way to go, and... Um, it's a weekend, so I'm still using it right now. Maybe if I hit 15Q somehow. I don't even know how that can happen, but maybe if somehow that happens, I'll take off the training wheels and just let all my stones drop. <laughs> just walk into all the one-move Ataris, and yeah, I don't know. Oh, wait. Okay, it's my move. He did play. Um... Oh, that was unnecessary. I did not need to play the stone. So is there a locally urgent situation anywhere on this board? Or should I play for... I don't know. Yeah, White well, could still do the 3-3 invasion, which is like... I should play something like this. Make the 3 3 less appetizing. But the key point is, like, I'm not immediately losing the game if I just play a quiet move. <laughs> White's trying something here. Um, I don't know what White's up to. Other than, like, taking a couple territory there. Which doesn't look that great, honestly. 
I know the Sente is worth more than a stone there, but I don't know where to play my stone. And this is actually a useful cut. Um, and I have territory up in the upper right corner, so... Yeah, white wants the center, but I'm not convinced it's that big. Maybe it is. That's a way to put your stone in harm's way, but we'll see just where it ends up. More than 60, huh. Oh, this is a ladder. This is a ladder hitting this stone. No, it's not. I have just enough liberties that, um, it's a net, but it's not a ladder. Sliced white's center in two, so that's fortunate. Um, assuming this black stick thing lives, which might not. Um, Attempt to push through here. Um, I could be losing this big stick. So I don't kill that. Um, it looks like my stick dies.
Or does it? Stick is alive. White messed up. All right. Um, I'll have to look at that later. That was exciting. Yeah, he saved a stone, but my big chain of all my stones is alive. Yeah, so Black is just cruising here. Um... Assuming he doesn't lose on time. Maybe he does. Maybe he finds a way to lose on time. Just in case. Still don't know how to resolve this stuff. <laughs> um, probably pessimistically.
Okay, so now we think carefully. I mean, this doesn't hurt me to play this, so we'll play it. You know, filling Dame doesn't actually help anybody. Uh, I should stop that. All my stones are connected or something. <laughs> I achieved a, I unlocked a steam achievement for connecting tons of stones. Um, so, I guess that's a thing. Wait, passed. We'll pass. Uh, and accept the scoring. Black wins by four and a half. See, a white messed up. <laughs> yeah, we got Steam achievements, guys. Uh, this is online against um, Waterfire23. Just happens to be the opponent's name. And yeah, Black wins this by four and a half. So it's very fortunate that I was able to slice that center in two and greatly reduce it. Um, so when I play like this big chain of five stones, white has to play five on each side to, uh, to balance it out. So that's the difference. Uh, I got away with this reduction. Um, yeah. Uh, something exciting happened there. White messed up. Way forever ago here. So like, I think this was the key point where I hit a stone. And White's like, oh, that's an Atari. I better do something about that. Um, and I think White needed to play here. And say, you know, Black wins that stone. I'm not going to be overly possessive of it. But, yeah, you know, maybe he had on his Atari indicator. Does the font look sharp to me? I'm not sure what you're referring to, but I don't think so. That looks pretty well-rounded for font to me. Um, but yeah, I think by this point, black has a solid edge, having successfully sliced uh, the center. But man, that was quite the adventure leading up to this. Um, but okay, suppose for a second white does have an enormous center. What do I do? I guess one reaction is don't let this get out of control. Like, white's got a huge center influence at the moment. And I think I've just played poorly. Like you're saying, the saving the four here has um, not worked out so well. How did my four get imperiled to begin with? Oh, I played a slow move. Now that was my undoing. Um, yeah, and no, I should have just like played a more urgent thing down here, despite the fact that White played this really passive move. So we both had no concept of just how bad this four was. Um, So when white plays here, that's urgent. Even though I've got four stones right there, um, if I ignore it, white builds up a nice center. Okay. All oh, right, because I surrounded these two stones in the lower left, white build up some influence. 
Uh, so surrounding the two stones is the strategic area. Um, okay, so what happened? He, I played, at this point, white tanukis. And I'm like, you know, let's just go. Let's invade. Because um, I don't want to defend. I want to invade. It sounds fun. And we got here, which I think is okay. He played a fourth stone there, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I have no idea what this is about. I don't know how to read that. That's white reducing the corner, but what's the point? Like, that's, at this point, that's a really small corner. Um, so... So, yeah, how do I read this thing? I should look up some of these things offline and see if I can learn how to play this. Several moves before we have a normal Joseki. So he plays this. Maybe I just push down. Or I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess this is down. Um, there are all kinds of ways I could play this, but I played a cross cut, which is probably ill advised. Extend up. Yeah, I can look this up. I'm supposed to extend up. So up is toward the center, right? So we're meaning like this extension? Um, and then he does this, and maybe I do that. Maybe this is how it goes. I can look this stuff up. I don't need to bore you guys with it. Because you probably all know this. Um, I think I've seen this before, but I just don't remember it. I should watch that Nick Sibiki lecture about 3-3 invasions. That could be fun. When you jump into the corner at this point, you're saying that the corner is bigger than the outside and abandoning the initial approach stone to get territory in the center. Okay. Yeah, I'll use... Yeah. There's all kinds of fun stuff that can happen here. So I need to resolve to set aside some time and learn some Joseki. Although they weren't going to get me too far compared to just playing good general principle play. Um, I mean, I could maybe even open with like 3, 4 or other stuff. Um, not necessarily need to know this. Okay, so if he Hane's here, that's just a mistake. That's funny to me. Like, they tell you always to do this, but uh, I'll look that up. That looks interesting. That looks like if that's a mistake, I could get... That's probably a common mistake, if I had to guess. I could refute this by extending downward. All right, sorry. Nightbot is a bit crazy, but um, I do see the link. I'll take a look at it. Oh no, this isn't downward. This is, well. Well, yeah, I guess this is downward. Trick move that will trick you even if you're aware. So basically, the, 
principal move there is this. And then um, this is the principal move. And I mean, this, I'm sure this goes on for a while. But yeah. If. Because I would have guessed the Hane every time. So. This is probably something I should put in some time to learn. Some time to practice. Um. Because there's all kinds of variations and sub-variations to it. In general, I've been avoiding doing invasions, because like, they tend to lead to forcing variations, and forcing variations is not very beginner-friendly. Um, as we can see, that um, double-digit queues can make um, maybe even up to 5 to 7 Q. So this is, like, super common for beginners to mess up. And I'm sure there's tons of variations where black messes up, too. So this is why, in general, I'm afraid I'm not I'm pretty not trigger-happy at all on invading. Because, um, like, you have to know this stuff if you're going to invade. Or at least have to be able to get out of it somehow and save your face. Um, but anyway, that was a fun little game that we had there. It led to a lot of exciting adventures. Um, we've had a lot of fun games here. So, yeah, this is the Ancient Go interface, uh, available on Steam. It's been in early access for quite some time. But, um, now it's got its first official release. So, feel free to check it out. Um, I'll probably come back with a different game later today. But yeah, hope this has been educational, fun, etc. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.